Welcome everybody to Charlotte, North Carolina as your Kansas Jayhawks open up the season on the road against the 49ers as you see Kwame Lasseter take the first kickoff of the season for a 29-yard return. And there is head coach Sneem sending sophomore quarterback Jalen Daniels out there for the first drive of his young coaching career down here in Charlotte, North Carolina. The Jayhawks walk to the line. Starting out in the shotgun formation, let's see what they have in store from us. Daniels in the pocket. He's got Grimm wide open, and Luke Grimm with a huge catch and run. A gain of 25 on the first play of the game. Daniels is able to find the comfort zone, and he is going to get that ball right in there to Luke Grimm. And here we are, first and 10. He's got Ben Miles to his right, Velton Gardner to his left. Daniels gets going to be a draw play. Gardner gets hit hard behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of one on the play. Denzel Irvin with the tackle for loss there. Second and 11 now. Daniels coming back up in the shotgun formation still. He's got a little bit of pressure. Daniels throws it and it's intercepted. Intercepted by DJ Anderson. Daniels never saw him in the coverage. He had pressure up the middle, and Anderson read that pass like a book right there in the passing lane, and Jalen Daniels with his first interception on this young season. Here we are now. Evan Sheriffs and Benny LeMay leading the 49ers offense out there. He's going to give it to LeMay. LeMay up the middle for a gain of three Early in this game, a second and seven now upcoming for this 49ers offense. Second and seven now. Sheriffs in the shotgun. He's going to get the snap. He's going to toss it out to LeMay, who's wide open. Edwin Schultz Jr. is finally going to force him out of bounds with the help of Kenny Logan Jr. Evan Sheriffs now one of one for 10 yards. Coming back up into the center. Sheriffs takes the snap. He's going to give it straight to LeMay, who's got a lot of room. Taiwan Berryhill and Ben Potter make the tackle together right there. Great defensive effort right there to stop him in the open field. Potter now in the secondary. He's coming on a blitz. They send everybody, and Sheriffs has to throw that one away. A great time to dial up the blitz there for head coach Belak Shmeems. And that is going to lead us to a third and three. If this Jayhawks team can get the 49ers off the field, that would be massive momentum after an early turnover. Sheriffs looking. He doesn't have anything, and he has to throw it away again. Probably could have ran that one for the first down, but here we are back on offense. Gardner up the middle. Nice gain of eight there for Mr. Velton Gardner. He's looking to have a huge season this year as the lead back. Second and six now. Daniels rolling out to the right. He's got a lot of room. He's running down the field and finally gets pushed out of bounds after a 17-yard gain. Jalen Daniels, what a huge play there using his feet. And that is the mobility we talked about in the previous episode, folks. Jalen Daniels can be huge for this offense. Now it's going to be a handoff. Gardner can't break the tackle, only a gain of three. If he breaks that tackle, he might just be past the secondary there with great blocking downfield. Daniels now under center. He's going to take the snap, second and seven. Daniels rolling out to his left. He's looking. He's got Grimm across the middle, and he just can't get it there. Jalen Daniels just did not have the arm throwing off of his back foot and everything. He just could not muscle that one into the lane. And now it's going to be third and seven. Daniels out of the shotgun formation. A lot of pressure up the middle. He's going to throw it to Luke Grimm. Grimm makes the catch across the middle of the field. What a play by Jalen Daniels at the last possible second. He launches that across his body right back into the hands of Luke Grimm. He couldn't get him last play, and Grimm just never gives up on his route, and he gets himself wide open across the middle. First and 10 now. Four minutes left in this first quarter. He's got Gardner, and he's going to hand it to Gardner. Gardner's got some blocking. Out to the left and a nice 11-yard run for Vell and Gardner here early in this first quarter. First and goal now from the 10. 
Your Jayhawks are on a drive looking to score their first points of the season. Gives it to Mason Fairchild. The tight end gets about three on that carry. Interested to see how much they'll utilize him as a running back because they have shown or he has shown that he can be used in that way. Now it's Daniels looking for a pass. He almost gets sacked. He fumbles the football. It is recovered by the offensive lineman. Still goes as a loss of 10 yards. Jalen Daniels on second and goal. He breaks one tackle, gets hit from behind, and loses the football. Now it is third and goal. All the way back on the 19-yard line. Gardner or Daniels in the shotgun. He's going to roll out to his right. He doesn't have anybody open. He gets hit as he throws it. And that's going to lead us to fourth and goal with your Jayhawks settling for a field goal here. Looking for the first points of this young season. And they are going to get it. A beautiful kick there. Now it is 3-0 Jayhawks lead the 49ers. Here we are, third and two next drive for the 49ers. Sheriff's looking, nobody open. He's going to run it. He's going to get sacked. He gets a yard, though. He pushes forward, but still fourth and one. And this Jayhawks defense leads them to go three and out after a big kickoff return. They're now going for a huge kick, and that it doesn't even have a chance. The Jayhawks will get the ball right back after a missed field goal by the 49ers. Let's see whether the Jayhawks offense can get going and maybe they can get it up 10-0 now. Late in this first quarter, Daniel's back on the field now out of the shotgun formation. He's going to take it. He's got a man blitzing, but he gets it to Gardner who has a lot of space in front of him to run for about 8 yards there. Velton Gardner with his first reception of the season. Daniels now. Pistol formation. He's going to give it to Gardner who cuts it to the right. Gardner's got some space into the open field. He gets past another defender. Gardner down the field and finally brought down from behind after a huge gain. Velton Gardner, a massive run there. And here we are, first and goal. 22 seconds left. Daniel's going to give it to Gardner. Let him finish what he started. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Velton Gardner with his first touchdown run of the season. He started out this drive with that massive run down the field. And he is going to be scoring his first touchdown of the season there. Now it's first and 10, late in the first quarter. Sheriffs. He's going to dump it off to Benny LeMay. LeMay gets past Lewis. Lewis, what are you doing? Thomas Jr. is going to bring him down after a 37-yard reception. First and goal now. Beginning of the second quarter. Jayhawks looking for a stand. LeMay gets the touchdown. Benny LeMay, a quick drive right there for the 49ers as they go right down the field. And LeMay, after a 37-yard run, caps off the drive with a 3-yard touchdown run. Looking to make it a three-point game now here with the extra point. And they do just that. 10-7 to now with 7.58 in this second quarter. Your Jayhawks offense back on the field now. 31, going to give it to Gardner. He's got the first down and he gets just enough. Two yards and now it is first and 10. Gardner now nine rushes for 80 yards and a touchdown. A massive game from him so far. Daniels, though, in the shotgun. He wants to give it to Lassiter, and he just cannot connect it. Quentin Jordan on the coverage, and Daniels just has to be better at connecting on a pass like that. He had the man wide open there. Second and 10, though. Same drive. Daniels across the middle. Luke Grimm drops it. He had a big catch earlier on our first drive, second drive of the game. Now he makes a big drop on the third drive of the game. Luke Grimm, you have to catch one like that. That's a first down if he makes that catch. Third and ten now. Daniels, nothing going. He's going to roll out of the pocket. Give it to Ben Miles. Miles gets stood up after a gain of nine. If he breaks that one tackle, he has a first down, but he just could not get past him. Your Jayhawks punted. Now there's the 49ers, Benny LeMay again, and Lewis makes a bad angle there, and LeMay off to the races again. A gain of 41 again for Benny LeMay, and this 49ers offense is pumping right now on the ground game. 
They've only thrown it about five times so far in this game, and Benny LeMay is telling them they do not need to throw it anymore. 6.32 now left in the second quarter, first and 10 for this 49ers offense. I would be shocked if they don't run it here. Sheriffs gives it to LeMay right up the middle, a gain of 13 and more, 16 yards now. Benny LeMay with 74 yards quickly on a quiet six rushes. He is going off so far. Maybe this Jayhawks defense can make a stand. Sheriff's in the shotgun. He's got LeMay behind him. He's going to give it to LeMay again. No, he fakes it. Sheriff's. Webb gets blocked. Sheriff's into the end zone. Touchdown 49ers. Evan Sheriff's had everyone fooled on that play. The read option gets him the touchdown now. Here's your Jayhawks. First and 10. Next possession. Ben Miles with the screen. Miles gets some blocking. Miles breaks the tackle down the field. Ben Miles is off to the races and will finally be caught after a 52-yard gain for Ben Miles, the fullback. Some of these fullbacks have been making amazing plays so far in this game. Look at this. He just barely breaks the tackle, and he is off to the races. A gain of 52 there. He tried to hurdle out of that shoestring tackle. He just could not get there quick enough. And now let's see what this Jayhawks offense can do. First and 10, 5.45 remaining. Daniels in the shotgun formation. He's taking the snap. He's going to throw it to Fairchild, a gain of five there on first down. And that is a quality play. If you are any Jayhawks fan out there, we'll take that. I'm interested to see if they go to Gardner at all this drive. Daniels. Once again in the shotgun, he has Gardner to his left. Grimm is in the flats. Now he's going to give it to Luke Grimm, who's almost got to the touchdown. Just barely tackled. He wasn't quick enough to outrun the cornerback, but he gets it to first and goal at the five-yard line. Daniels now looking for a touchdown here to give them a three-point lead once again. He's going to give it to Gardner. Gardner's got some space, and he gets drilled at the one-yard line. All he has to do is break the one tackle, and he gets absolutely lit up now. Second and goal at the two. What do they call here? Daniels talking in the huddle. He's got it in a goal line formation now. Head coach Smeems, what do you have to call? Daniels play action. He's got Ben Miles in the flats, and that's the easiest touchdown we will have all season long. Jalen Daniels with his first touchdown pass of the year. And Ben Miles, the fullback, with his first touchdown of the season as well. 17-14 now. Sheriffs is going to give it to LeMay first and 10. And a nice tackle there to stop it at a 5-yard gain. This rushing offense has been unstoppable for the 49ers. And I don't know how head coach Smeems is planning to stop it. But it has to be done if they want to win this game. Third or second and five now. Sheriffs gives it to LeMay again. And Edwin White Schultz makes a great tackle there. Third and three now. LeMay now has 88 yards rushing in a touchdown. Third and three for this Jayhawks defense. Looks like they're going to bring some pressure. Will the 49ers finally throw it? Yes, they do. Sheriffs. He's got a man in the flats and it's bent. Cameron Bent with a six-yard reception. He had two guys he could have thrown to over there. Just poor defense there. They brought the pressure expecting run, and the 49ers threw it on that play. Not much more the Jayhawks could have done there if they wanted to stop them on that third down play. LeMay now up the middle, and once again, a 13-yard carry for Benny LeMay. He has to be getting tired already in this half. He has been running all over the place so far. They do have the backup now, Aaron McAllister. Do they go to him as well? 49ers now, Evan Sheriff. Some movement by the tight end, and yes, they run with McAllister. McAllister in the backfield. Five-yard loss. What a play there by the Jayhawks defense. Taiwan Berryhill with his first tackle of the season, and it is a five-yard tackle for loss. Third and nine now, same drive. Two minutes left in the second quarter. McAllister's wide open on the screen play. Nobody was expecting it. McAllister pushed out of bounds after a 19-yard gain, and that is a gutsy call there 
on third and nine. They have had success running it, but now they throw it, and no one was expecting the screenplay to Aaron McAllister. Benny LeMay back in the game now. 153 in the second quarter. First and 10. Sheriffs looking towards the end zone. Gets him at the one, and he stopped. Work Pakofa with a 12-yard reception down to the one-yard line. A great tackle there by the defensive back to stop him from scoring. First and goal now. Shotgun formation for Sheriffs. He's going to give it to LeMay, who's not going anywhere. What a tackle by this Jayhawks defense. A loss of three on the play. That is massive there on first and goal to stop him behind the line. Here we go, second and goal. Do the Jayhawks have a goal line stand in their minds? Can they do it? You got Webb over there inching in. Second and goal. They give it to LeMay again and nowhere. Gavin Potter with the tackle for loss. His first of the season. He's already got five tackles on the game. And it is now third and goal from the five. They've done it twice. Can they do it a third time? All they have to do is stop Sheriffs from t making a touchdown or stop LeMay from getting into the end zone. Do they throw it or run it? Sheriffs in the shotgun. He's going to throw it. A little bit of a play action. Sheriffs get sacked. Evan Sheriff sacked for seven yards. Malcolm Lee, his first sack of this young season, and he just pushed this um, 49ers offense back to the fourth and goal at the 12, and they're going to kick a field goal there. And that would do it for halftime now. Fourth and goal. Let's see if the 49ers can tie it before half. Do they have the field goal for? And it is up and good. 17-17. Your Jayhawks are going to be conservative most likely with only two timeouts and 45 seconds left. Maybe a run play to see if anything pops open. Or if the kickoff can get going. Big kick there. Kwame Laster. He struggled to get open field on these kickoffs. Going to the outside and he stopped immediately. Only an 18 yard gain. 41 seconds left and most likely the Jayhawks are going to be conservative here. Velton Gardner is probably going to get the ball. And if he gets a big play then maybe they go aggressive. But I don't see it happening here. Yes, they run it to the outside. Gardner with about a gain of 6 or 5 on the play. And that's going to take us into the third quarter now. 17 all at halftime. Your Jayhawks kicking the ball off by Borsia, and it's underway. A big first half there for Velton Gardner, but the 49ers have Benny LeMay on their team as well, leading them down the field. Denzel Irvin with an 18-yard return. First and 10 as Evan Sheriffs trots back onto the field. He hasn't scored a touchdown yet, but he's only needed to throw it a few times this game. He's got LeMay behind him as always. First play of the second half, LeMay up the middle, breaks a tackle, but he's still tackled for only a four-yard gain. Gavin Potter came running in there and just could not wrap his arms around him. Edwin White Schultz with the tackle, his fifth tackle of the game. Second and six now. Sheriffs in the shotgun again with LeMay behind him. Do they give it to him again? Yes, they do. Right up the middle. Johnson can't make the tackle until it's 20 yards down the field. First and 10 now. Move the chains for those Charlotte 49ers. LeMay just ran straight up the middle of the field. And there is nothing there for, them to, for the Jayhawks defense to even contest that run. Sheriffs gives it to LeMay a third time. He's got even more ground. Seven yards, second and three now. 7-12 and counting in this third quarter, so still very early on, and this defense looks gassed already. You expected them to come out with a little more energy in this second half, but there is nothing they can do to stop this run. Sheriff's a fake on the read option. Logan can't get him. Logan Jr. can't make the tackle in Taiwan Mayberry. Has to get the tackle down the field. Second and 10 now after the big run by Evan Sheriffs. That is the second time this game this defense has been fooled by such a read option. Aaron McAllister breaking tackles to the outside. Aaron McAllister touchdown 49ers. 23 yards on the carry and the backup running back getting in on the action now. 
with the extra point. It's 24-17. Gardner, third and two, up the middle to six-yard gain and a first down. And your Jayhawks offense has to respond now after that offensive output by the 49ers. Daniels looking for a play to call. He's in the shotgun. He's got Gardner on his right and Miles on his left. First and 10. He's going to dump it off to Gardner and nothing going there. Velton Gardner, a loss of two on the pass. Third and 12 now. Same drive. Daniels in the shotgun. He's looking for the first down. He's got Grimm and he catches it. Luke Grimm for 21 yards. Four receptions for 72 yards for Luke Grimm. He is having himself a game today, folks. First and 10 now after the completion. Daniels with Gardner on his left. He's in the shotgun as usual. Daniels taking the snap. He's going to go to Lasseter. No, that's McBride. Steven McBride with the three-yard reception. Second and seven now. That is his first reception of the season. These Jayhawks have to score on this drive or else I fear they will be absolutely manhandled the rest of this game. Second and seven. Daniels, it's a read option. Up the middle, dives for the first down. An eight-yard gain by Jalen Daniels. And they may need to use him running more often. Later that drive, first and ten. He's got Lasseter. Kwame Lasseter with the catch diving. Touchdown. Touchdown, Jayhawks. Rock Chalk Jayhawk 24 all. First and ten now. Johnson misses the tackle. Sheriffs. Oh my goodness. Evan Sheriffs gets a block and he is rumbling down the field. And he's going to be caught by Kenny Logan Jr. after a massive gain. All the way down to about the 15-yard line of the Jayhawks. Evan Sheriffs, too much there for the defense to handle. And read options have to be practiced more during the offseason and during the practice week. Because this defense has not been able to guard him. And a bad pass almost intercepted. That would have been massive, the first turnover this year for this Jayhawks defense, but they just couldn't manage to make the play. Second and 10 now with Sheriffs and LeMay behind him. Sheriffs gives it to LeMay, no surprise. They're in a great defensive effort. Third and 12 now, and if this Jayhawks defense can make another stop, the offense will be thanking them. Third and 12 now. 24 all. Three minutes left in the third quarter. DeBose bringing the pressure. Third and 12. Sheriffs throws it. Mayberry, no! Evan Mayberry almost makes the play there. Excuse me, that was not Evan Mayberry. Evan is Evan Sheriffs. I said Evan Mayberry. Excuse me on that one. Daniels, though. Third and 11. He's got Lassiter deep. Dropped it. Intercepted. DJ Anderson, his second of the game. I cannot believe my eyes, folks. Tack on 15 after a face mask tackle. And Jalen Daniels threw his second interception of the season. He rolled out. He had Lassiter open. And Lassiter just can't hang on. It bounces into the defender's hands. And it's an interception, folks. 27-24 still. A minute and a half remaining in the third. Potter tries to take Evan Sheriffs that time, and it's going to be a tackle by Kenny Logan Jr. after a gain of 21 for Benny LeMay. Something we have seen way too often in this game as Lassiter is heading into the medical tent to get examined after that big hit earlier in this quarter. A minute 15, they give it to LeMay, who's got all kinds of room. And he's going to get the first down after a gain of 12. Touchdown here and the game's likely over. But if this Jayhawks defense can hold him to a field goal, Thomas Jr. Fumble! Evan Sheriffs recovers it though. Second and goal and Edwin White Schultz forces the fumble. They can't recover it though. Thomas Jr. almost had his hands on it and Evan Sheriffs got lucky to jump back on it. Second and goal now. Taiwan Berryhill makes the play. Malcolm Lee, what a big hit there on Evan Sheriffs. They said no more option plays, Evan. 
And this run defense is going to need a lot of work. Third and goal here. First play of the fourth quarter. Sheriffs gives it to LeMay. Gavin Potter misses the tackle and Logan Jr. makes it at the one yard line. Kenny Logan Jr. Here we are. First and ten. After a field goal, your Jayhawks need a touchdown to win. Seven minutes remaining. Gardner rushing for six yards there. Second and four now. Daniels looking to lead his team for a game-winning touchdown here. Daniels in the shotgun. It's going to be a pass. Nowhere. He's got Grimm in the sidelines and a great catch there by Luke Grimm. He climbs the ladder to make that catch before it sails out of bounds. First and 10 now for this Jayhawks offense. Driving down the field. Looking for a touchdown to win the game. Daniels calling some hot routes. He's going to change the play. He didn't like what he saw. He gives it to Gardner. Gardner's got some space on the outside and a gain of seven there on first down. Looking productive now. Velton Gardner with 130 yards on the game. <clears throat> Daniels, second and three. What did they call here? He's got McBride. Stephen McBride coming in motion. He's going to get the handoff, and he just barely gets the first down. A gain of three and a half there to get him past that line to gain. Second and one now. They're going to give it to Miles. Up the middle, Miles. Ben Miles for a gain of nine. First and goal for the Jayhawks. Move those chains, and it's a seven-yard seven yard field for the touchdown here. Daniels, all they have to do is score a touchdown, and it's at least overtime. Gardner to his right. He takes the snap. Daniels, nobody open. He's going for the pass, and it's intercepted. Denzel Irvin with an amazing catch. And this Jayhawks offense just cannot catch a break. Sheriffs tries to make a throw on third and 14. They force the turnover, or the punt here, fourth and 14. I just don't know if they have what it takes. Daniels now first and 10 late in the game. He's looking for somebody. He gets sacked. Minus 15, and that is the only thing you couldn't do. Tyreek Harris, the big defensive lineman with his first sack of the game. Second and 25 now. Four, four down territory no matter what happens. Daniels gives it to Garner. Nothing going again of two on the play third and 23 your Jayhawks need a touchdown to win the 29 yard line they need to get to the six yard line Daniel's calling the play he's coming out in the shotgun formation he's got miles to his right Gardner to his left play action Daniel's is sacked again a six-yard loss, and that is huge. Anthony Butler, fourth and 29. This is the game, folks. Jalen Daniels calling a re uh, hot route. It's a play action. He's got the ball. He's going to launch it downfield. No good. Luke Grimm had no chance. Quentin Jordan, the pass was behind Grimm, and Jordan just bats it away. And that is going to finalize this score, most likely, barring any fumbles or anything, folks. Sheriff just has to hand it off to LeMay. Potter with the missed tackle and an 8-yard gain to start this drive. Two minutes left in this game, and your Jayhawks just were not going to be able to stop them. Second and two now. Sheriff's giving it to LeMay, most likely. That he is going to do right there. And LeMay's got plenty of room on the outside. Potter tries to make a tackle. But that is going to wrap it up as your Jayhawks fall to the 49ers. 30-24, to folks. Jalen Daniels with two touchdowns, three interceptions, 242 yards. But he was sacked three times. Two of which came on the final drive of the game. Not a bad start for his season. One of those interceptions was not his fault, and the first one definitely was, but the th last one was just an amazing play by D Denzel Irvin. Velton Gardner, 22 rushes for 148 yards. He played amazing. 
Nothing you can fault him for. Receiving-wise, Luke Grimm was the best on the field. Nobody else really did anything. Ben Miles had the one big uh, receiving screen play. Um, but other than that, he didn't do much. He only had 11 more yards combined after that screen play. Mason Fairchild had a few big catches. Kwame Lasseter had two big catches. But overall, this Jayhawks team just should not have lost this game. And I cannot believe that we actually did so. Comment down below if you guys think we could have won this game without Jalen Daniels playing. I don't know how much of a difference it would have made. I felt like he played perfectly fine. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy. And as always, adios.